There can only be one. What starts off as a golf tournament consisting of 92 players ends with just one man standing. Today was round one of the 2015 Men's City Championships qualifying round, a chance for players to get off on the right foot. As Cameron mentioned, in weather, it was a picture-perfect day for round one. Emerson Campin statue overlooking the first tee. We start on the back nine, hole 12, Sean Bush, the former Red Devil, now soon to be senior on the Ohio State golf team, rips one down the fairway. Two shots later, Bush putting and he misreads the break. He would tap in for par. Bush finished two over on the day. On the par 3, 13, Zach Zimbo sets himself up perfectly for a birdie putt. He places his tee shot pin high. Terris terrific use of the iron. Zimbo's next shot will find the bottom of the cup. He ended up shooting a plus six for round one. Sticking with the same group, Anthony Zachman out of Rossville on 15. From his reaction, you would think a negative drive, but not so fast. Subsequent chip shot for the Zach attack. Sit, sit, oh, she's a beaut. Zachman sets himself up perfectly for the birdie putt, and that's just what he gets. Give him the bird. The former Hornet sits atop the leaderboard after day one, shooting four under, and he gets the fist pump from his caddy. You gotta love that. How about last year's match champion, Matt Tony on 18? Tony slices his drive into hole one's fairway. Not ideal, but he would rebound. Using the hybrid, Tony clears the bunkers. He would two putt and par the hole. Tony posts a plus one for the round. Observing the leaderboard after round one, several participants jostling for the top spot. Terrific first day for Zachman. Tony just five strokes back of him. Another notable name to keep an eye on who's still in the hunt, West Lafayette football coach Shane Fry. He shoots four over. Fry won the qualifier last year. Meanwhile, on the women's side, round one in the books from Battleground Golf Club, Lindsay Burklow currently atop the leaderboard. She records a two over par. Samantha had her right on her heels, though, as she finishes three over. We'll have highlights from round two tomorrow at six.